Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to share a bit of bad news with you all. I have an issue in the lawn and I'm not happy about it. Stay tuned. So I don't know if you guys can see that and I shared this the other day on my Instagram but it looks like I've got a fungus issue in the lawn. But uh, the good thing is, is it's nothing to panic about. You know, this happens. Um, especially in our neck of the woods. Uh, we live in the, in the Midwest and Southern Illinois. We've had some heat and we've had some rain and that's just the perfect mix for getting fungus in your lawn. Now, one of the issues that maybe occurred here was that what I try to do is to stay ahead of it with a fungicide application in my lawn and things just happened um, life got in the way, I guess, and um, that didn't happen. So now I'm going to have to do a uh, preventative application. Same process, just a little bit more of the application that I'm going to put down. So if you see these issues in your lawn, don't freak out. I'm going to take you through what you need to do uh, to get the problem resolved. Um, it's, it's not a big deal. So let me take you through this, what we're going to do. So to solve this issue in the lawn, and I hope you guys can see this, just got this laid out on the truck bed here. Uh, to solve this issue in the lawn, I'm gonna kinda take a, um, a one-two punch, I guess you could say, to, to get this straightened up. So I'm gonna put down a granular Scott's Disease X. Um, its active ingredient is, I'll take you in here real close, hopefully you can see that, is azoxystrobin. I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. So that is one active ingredient that will resolve our lawn fung fungus um, issue. Um, but there is another um, solution that you can put down that will also resolve it. So I'm going to put both down in the hopes that it will address the ex issue. I've got this hose and spray um, here that you can get at the big box store, Amazon, both of these you can get there. Um, I'll link them below. But what it has in it is propozonicol um, as its active ingredient. Um, so we're going to put both of these down. Now, you can use this hose end spray. It's very easy to use. You just hook it up to your hose um, right here and um, spray it out, and it's going to um, you know, go down on the lawn um, just as easy. I have a battery pack backpack sprayer here that I'm going to use um, to put down the same product but in a, a uh, little bit more of a, of a, of a I guess a, a different um, application type. This actually, and I'll link it below, is going to be a cheaper route where you can mix it up in your own, um, put it in your backpack sprayer there, and um, spray it out in your own. So two different methods of putting it down. Um, this one is going to be your cheaper route if you have a backpack sprayer or a sprayer that you can use to do a full application on your lawn. Um, or a very easy route is to just use this hose end and um, you know it's going to mix it with the water as the water comes out of the hose and put it down. So really easy. All of this I'll have linked uh, below in the description where you guys can, can check it out on your own. But um, why don't we go ahead and get this in the spreader. This covers, um, it says 5,000 square foot. Um, so it, uh, it'll cover two bags. Two bags that I have will cover 10,000 square foot. I have an 8,500 square foot lawn. So this will cover us no problem. I'm gonna put it down a little bit heavy. Uh, since I've already got the fungus in the lawn and this is you know of course to to help prevent
before I start spreading this, I wanted to share with you guys, on the back of this bag, it has all of your instructions, it has spreader settings on it, um, but this is going to be an application that uh, has a real small, small prill size, uh, the, the size of the actual granule, you'll see here, very, very, very small, so it's going to come out really, really quick on your spreader, so you're going to want to have uh, your spreader settings pretty low, but you're going to get all of that instructions right here to make sure that you have enough product to go through uh, your lawn, so let's get it down. So that went down pretty easy. Um, like I said, really small prill size, so um, you know it only takes a little bit to go a long way with that. So the next uh, product we're going to put down is the liquid, the propozonicol. Like I said, I and mean, I'm probably mispronouncing that really bad, but you've got your hose end option. Um, you can get it at the big box store um, or at Amazon, um, or you've got the more professional type of, I guess you know you if you would um, application where if you have your own uh, sprayer you can put that down um, and just mix it up yourself in the tank and uh, and put it down so I've got a batch mixed up here what I'm doing is I'm putting it down um, at two ounces per 1,000 square foot and um, just spraying it out through my battery um, uh, sprayer I have a Petra um, HD 4000 sprayer it works fantastic um, all self-contained it's, it's really 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 good um, I'll uh, I'll put a link to that down there um, in the description below also so we're going to put this down um, spray it all over the yard a full application coverage you know not just spot spray you want to put it over your entire lawn um, so we'll go ahead and get this down and then we'll kind of just uh, recap and talk about what we did all right, we've got it all sprayed down, guys. Um, so we should see uh, a reaction from the liquid application. That takes immediately. Um, the, the application from Scott, what we'll want to do is make sure that we get that watered in. It's supposed to rain tonight, so that will work fantastic for us. Um, and it's supposed to start working within 24 hours. So uh, we should have this guy beat. Uh, so watch my Instagram. We're going to do some follow-ups there. Um, I'll put the link to my Instagram below. Um, but I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and just following along with our adventures out here in the lawn and garden. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.